Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Emerald Mound is the second largest Mississippian period ceremonial mound in the United States and is the largest located along the Natchez Trace Parkway. Covering eight acres, it measures 770 by 435 feet at the base and is 35 feet high. Built and used between 1200 and 1730, the mound was created by depositing earth along the sides of a natural hill, thus reshaping it and creating an enormous artificial plateau. Two smaller mounds sit atop the expansive summit platform of the primary mound. The larger of the two at the west end measures 190 by 160 feet and is 30 feet high, bringing the total height of the mound to approximately 60 feet. Several additional smaller mounds were once located along the edges of the primary mound summit, but were destroyed in the 19th century by plowing and erosion. Emerald Mound was a ceremonial center for the local population, which resided in outlying villages and hamlets. Its builders were ancestors of the Natchez Indians. By the late 1600s, the Natchez had abandoned Emerald and established their capital at the Grand Village some 12 miles to the southwest. The mound first appears in travel and study accounts in 1801. During the 19th century, it was known as the Seltzer Town site, named after a nearby town that has since disappeared. It acquired the current name from Emerald Plantation, on which property the site was located in the 1850s. The first archaeological excavations at Emerald Mound occurred in 1838 and continued periodically until 1972. The National Park Service acquired the site in 1950, and in 1989, it was designated a National Historic Landmark. Hi, I'm Kellen Hendricks, liaison for the Natchez Tricentennial, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.